in this video, we're gonna show you how to make a starter house banger like these tracks. <laughs> Including these elements. Feels right. So we're gonna start off with a vocal. Let's pick one from the new starter house sample pack, Chemicals 2. Let's use this one. Feels right. Sample pack also contains ad libs and long vocal shouts to create starter house leads with it. Sounding like this. First, we need to mix the vocal a bit more with an R Fox. Cause nothing ever feels right. Low cut. Cause nothing ever feels a boost in the high end. I'm running it through. And of course, reverb and delay. And I know, I know. Then we need to dive into the ad libs. So I copied over the same R Fox and low cut. Then I added a radio filter to it. And distort it afterwards to push it more in the back end of the mix and then finish it off with a reverb and delay as well. So that's it for the vocals, sounding like this. Nothing ever feels right. I'm running it through. Now we're gonna write the chords with the vocal. So I want to work with a piano sound. We are working in F sharp, but instead of starting on the root notes, I want to start on the fifth note of the scale. And just turn it into a chord. Add the seventh note to the chord as well. And spread it out a bit more. So this will be the first chord. And I think we need to go down. So let's drop it to the B. End on a root note. Feels right. I'm running it through. Feels right. Just like this. I'm running it through. Finish it off. I want to end on an E. Feels right. I'm running it through. Running it through. And I know. So that's the progression. Now we're gonna duplicate it. And Turn this chord into a seventh chord as well. I know, I know. Only like this. I'm better with you. Still better with you. Now we're gonna drop them into other presets to fit the drop. So pick a preset from the chemical spec. So let's use this one. And copy over the MIDI. Only like this. Then we're gonna mix it, so add some OTT, distortion, low cut, and a sidechain. Then we're gonna layer it. Another preset from the pack. And set it to the same rate. Done it like this. I also added in the ad libs. So in a track, the chords sound like this. So better with you. We got the chords ready, so now we're gonna dive for the bass. So just duplicate the bottom notes of the chords and a new preset for the pack. So we'll be using this one. We're gonna create a rolling bass line. So copy over the MIDI, turn on the notes. And turn it into a rolling MIDI. And bump it up an octave, sounding like this. So now we're gonna mix it. Distortion. Compression. And a sidechain. Then I want to add a top sound to the bass as well. So I got a serum. And I copied over the root notes of the chord scan. So pick another steady bass preset from the back. Like this one. And got rid of the low end in the mixing. Make room for the rotting bass. Then add some distortion. 
LCT. And EQ it, roll off the top and, well, a side chain of course. So I'll gather the bass and chords, sound like this. Now we're gonna dive for the drums, we'll be using these samples. To create this basic drum loop with it. Then we're gonna add some groove to it with a snare. Place it after the second hit. And a variation the second time it hits. Then we're gonna drop in a closed hit. Place it right before the first open hit. And after the last hit. Sounding like this. Then we're gonna do some mixing to the drum bus. So first add some soft clipping. And then a transient shaper to bring out some of the transients. So that's it for the drums. Together with the bass, they sound like this. So now we're gonna dive for the starter house lead. It's that typical lead you're in all those starter house tracks, so we're gonna use the S-lip for that. Sounding like this. So we need to heavily mix it. First compress it to get the same amount of volume all the time it's playing. Then some distortion. Then we need to clean up the sound. Open up the high ends a little bit. Then we're gonna add in the stutter effect with a grow speed. So I use this one fourth gate. It's really dry right now, but we're gonna add some reverb and delay to it. And then a side chain to finish it off. That really gives it really gives the bounce to it. So together with the chords, suddenly it sounds like this. Still better with you. Really complements each other. And then to finish it off, I want to add another melody to it to give the track some more depth. So I got a new lead loaded up with the same mixing as the chords. Then pick a plug sound from the pack. Make a really simple melody. Just like this. And trigger the velocity a little bit. Sounds quite weird without context, but together with the chords. Sounds really dope, I think, so. Better with you. Really works well together. So to finish up the track, I added some elements to the breakdown. So first the bass step we created earlier. Then I added this Reese bass. Other presets are coming from the pack, so you can find it you can find it in there. Then the chords. In a serum preset. It's with this up plug. And a rhythmic plug. And some FX to finish it off. So then we only need to arrange the drop, just like this, just copy over the elements. So that's how you create a starter house banger. I think it turned out really dope, so let me know what you think about it in the comments as well. Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. I know, I know, I'm better with you, so better with you.